Hello everyone, it's Sam here and welcome back to my channel. If you're passionate about all things 3D printing and laser engraving, then you have come to the right place. On this channel, I share everything you need to know about this fascinating te technology. From uh, tips and tricks to project showcases. There is always something exciting happening here. So, if you are as enthusiastic as I am about 3D printing and laser engraving, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Trust me, you won't want to miss out on any of amazing content we have in store. Let's get started. And today uh, I have a short video for you uh, that is how we can add a uh, Wi-Fi module to uh, Elgun Neptune 2S uh, because uh, we know every time we, we want to update or print something here we need to go and back uh, um, between the computer and the printer with the uh, Wi-Fi module it can reduce um, going back and forth between the uh, PC and the uh, printer you can uh, start and stop uh, printing or uh, copy the uh, the print directly from uh, PC to uh, your uh, printer uh, what we need here is the um, uh, Wi-Fi module I uh, bought it out of Aliexpress uh, before tax was uh, $8 more or less and maybe it was in the post for uh, 10 two weeks something like that and it's easy to install it just we need to have this uh, Wi-Fi module and uh, putting in the right uh, pins inside the printer and update the framework uh, let me to open the uh, back play and uh, I'm going to show you how you can install it Uh, I need to mention I found uh, two different versions for uh, this kind of module. Uh, one it is from Big Tree Tech and uh, Maker Maker Base uh, model. Uh, these boards are uh, based of uh, Maker Base, and I I couldn't run uh, the printer with uh, this type of uh, module. Uh, but with a maker base version it's very easy uh, as you can see the pin headers here they have a green uh, pins and black one also the module for the Wi-Fi uh, it has a um, green pins and black pins just we need to uh, match them and pu uh, push them if you put them vice versa maybe you, you see some uh, magic smoke and it's easy just we need to uh, push it in these uh, pins uh, here i open the uh, display uh, to have a, a better uh, angle and access for the for the video uh, but also you can uh, manage it and uh, put the Wi-Fi module in, in, in pins without opening the uh, display. And let me to close the uh, back plate and then uh, we need to upgrade the uh, framework. Now we need to uh, update the configuration. Uh, which framework is using framework is using that one uh, for updating the uh, framework uh, we need to open the uh, config file in a text editor it can be a notepad not, uh, notepad plus plus or visual studio code uh, uh, whatever you have and you are easy to uh, work with it right now I'm going to open it with uh, um, notepad++ 
and then I'm looking for uh, uh, disable Wi-Fi one it means is not displaying the button uh, if uh, we turn it to the zero is showing the uh, Wi-Fi button and uh, that can be enough and uh, we can update the firmware with this configuration uh, but if we go down uh, around line uh, 267 we can see uh, we can uh, set up the uh, Wi-Fi mode as a, a access point or a static uh, if we uh, choose to use the uh, zero we need to uh, give it the um, right um, Wi-Fi name and password for that Wi-Fi uh, this is the SSID for the Wi-Fi and this is the password related to that one if we uh, choose to uh, go ahead and use the AP one it's giving us a, um, a static IP address uh, usually it is 192.168.4.1 um, but uh, right now I'm going to connect to uh, my uh, Wi-Fi and I'm going to uh, change it uh, to my Wi-Fi name it is this Wi-Fi and the password it is very secure one two three uh, one two three four five six seven eight and here if you, you want to use the uh, this company uh, cloud you can set it up but I don't want to use that I'm going to turn it off uh, also if you uh, set uh, Wi-Fi leases can uh, as a one uh, when uh, you, you don't have the um, Wi-Fi set up here is showing you the list of Wi-Fi around, uh, around your device uh, but uh, I am going to uh, connect directly to this uh, Wi-Fi and I'm going to turn it off uh, if uh, for any reason your uh, machine cannot connect to this uh, Wi-Fi uh, is switching back to AP mode uh, they put it as a fallback uh, now we need to save these files and closing this one uh, just you need to copy these conf uh, configuration files to the root of uh, micro USB and just in case if it didn't set up uh, you can uh, copy a whole folder here um, pigs phones and beans it's up, uh, updating everything uh, on your board and most likely it can resolve your problem uh, let's he head back to the machine and see uh, what's the next step uh, for updating the uh, new configuration uh, just we need to put the uh, macro SD inside the uh, slot and turn on the uh, machine uh, during the boot is reading the uh, configuration file and reconfiguring the uh, settings inside the machine in the frame, framework and then when we are going to settings uh, Wi-Fi here is going to uh, connect to the Wi-Fi and give us a IP address uh, I need to mention you need to be in the same network or at least have access uh, to this machine and through the network uh, if you are setting up um, the printer inside the guest network maybe you don't have access from the main uh, network to the uh, guest network just uh, just in case you if you, you, you couldn't find it or you had uh, any other issues if it cannot connect to the 
uh, network is falling back, uh, back to AP mode and is uh, uh, giving you a uh, IP address just for this machine and uh, you need to connect directly to machines and uh, print it now uh, let's head to the uh, PC and see uh, what other configuration we need to do and how we can print it now by updating the uh, configuration file in the 3d printer uh, we can connect uh, we can connect to 3d printer wirelessly uh, right now i'm going to use uh, latest version of the hero uh, is 540 uh, first we need to install a plugin from the marketplace if you uh, search for Wi-Fi you can find and uh, this plugin MKS Wi-Fi plugin first we need to install it and accept the uh, uh, terms and conditions and then we need to uh, restart the Kira Now for connecting to the uh, printer, we need to uh, set some uh, settings. Uh, inside the, under the settings menu, uh, printer, uh, manage printers, uh, sel and by selecting the um, uh, printer profile, we can uh, set up some settings under MKS Wi-Fi plugin. Here we need to activate the uh, plugins and uh, check this one to, uh, to support the wi-fi and insert the ip address the printer gave us which was 192.168.1.133 and just remember remember your uh, both machine your pc and the printer they has to be in, in the same network and uh, click on OK and we can uh, set some other settings here uh, under the preview settings uh, we can uh, enable the uh, preview image uh, during the print um, we are selecting the default under the printer model and in the advanced settings I'm going to put the maximum uh, file name 100 character and then um, checking these two check box uh, starting the print after upload and switching the to monitor tab after uh, file uploaded and then when um, we're coming back to the network settings selecting the IP address and connect uh, uh, if we are getting this error and this message it means we are connected to the printer we can and we can um, print it uh, let's uh, do a quick print here at auto tower and selecting this uh, pattern is for bed leveling and then by clicking on print uh, over LGU Neptune 2S is the name of profile we uh, put it for our printer it's uh, starting uploading the job and uh, it's going to start the print here we can cancel the print or pause middle of the print and inside the more button we can turn off or turn on the uh, fan as we wrap up this 3d printing and laser engraving adventure i hope you have gained some valuable insight and inspiration remember 
the sky is the limit when it comes to your creativity. And once again, this video is not a sponsor. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe, like and drop your thoughts in the comment section. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, keep creating and inventing. And I will see you in the next video.